What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the Cincinnati Bengals franchise here on Madden 21 Next Gen. Today, a huge game for you guys as the Cincinnati Bengals are going back into Cleveland. The division rival Browns, they took us out of the playoffs last season in this very round. Same place. And now we get a chance to go back into their house and prove that we belong and prove that we can knock them off in Cleveland in front of the dog pound. Let's get into this game. Browns, Bengals, the bloodbath to begin now as here we go. Set to kick it away. Austin Seibert, make sure you guys are dropping a like and subscribe it if you're new to the channel. If you love franchise content, this is definitely the place to be as the Browns are going to Bring themselves out here with Baker Mayfield. 39 touchdowns, 6 interceptions on the season, 4,300 yards. And he gets the opportunity first, handing off to Nick Chubb. And Chubb is going to make his way to the 26-yard line on the first play of the game. Later on, 3rd and 7 for Baker. And he's hit as he throws, throws that thing out of bounds, incomplete. And Joe Burrow will get his opportunity, 37 and 13 on the season, 4,400 yards. Two very good quarterbacks going at it here in rival Ohio cities. And there's the short throw to Jonu Smith, who is going to find his way to the 34. Second and four for Cincinnati. It's Burrow dropping back, finding his man in the middle of the field. It is T. Higgins. He had a great game in the wild card round, and he's looking to do it again. Joe Mixon had an incredible game in the wild card game, 222 yards. He's got 12 early on here and a first down there. Joe Burrow handing it off to Mixon again. Mixon's got some room to run, and he's inside the 10 to the 7 with a big run. First and goal for the Cincinnati Bengals. 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Burrow drops back under pressure, but he gets it away to T. Higgins, who again is proving that he is a go-to man on this team. And you'll love to see T. Higgins' development as the season has progressed. Here's Baker Mayfield under pressure from DJ Reader, the big man, getting in with the sack. Three-yard loss and a little next-gen stats coming up for you here. Let's take a look at this DJ Reader sack. DJ Reader getting to the quarterback. He's been pretty good all season. His pursuit speed is up there in the 11 mile an hour range. So about half of what Joe Mixon can run on an 80 yard run. Time to sack two and a half seconds. You'll love to see him getting in there quickly though. Third and 13 for Baker Mayfield. Off balance throw and that is intercepted. A pick by J.C. Jackson will get it back in the hands of Joe Burrow in the offense. 7-0 lead already, and the Bengals looking to add to it. Here's Joe Mixon with a run to the 45-yard line of Cleveland. Second and two, they're going to give it back to Mixon. Nice stiff arm, and he will get across the first down marker to the 42-yard line. First and ten. Here's Cincinnati and Joe Burrow rolling to his right. He's got all kinds of time, and he finds a wide open D'Angelo Bernard for the first down inside the 10. 12 yards after the catch for D'Angelo Bernard, setting up first and goal. They give to Mixon, and Mixon will break a tackle and go forth into the end zone for the Bengal touchdown, and they have started strong in this game in Cleveland, up 14-zip. First and 10 for Baker Mayfield on the next possession, giving it to Kareem Hunt. He is going to get to the 31-yard line, leaving a third and three here for Baker Mayfield and company. There's the throw, and that is complete for a lot more than three. First down, down the right sideline to the 49. Here's Mayfield throwing deep down the middle, and this one is intercepted as well. Jesse Bates makes the play. Two straight drives with interceptions for Baker Mayfield. That one more of an arm punt in some regard. But first and 10, Joe Burrow coming out with 129 to go in the first. He's going to hand it to Joe Mixon. And Mixon breaking tackles and powering his way forward for seven yards. That'll leave a second and two as they give him more like seven and a half. And Burrow will again give to Mixon. Easy pickup for the first down, but a flag on the field will check the dirty laundry. It is a holding against Cincinnati, and that one going to go against Wyatt Teller, the big free agent pickup. And now second and six. 
Here's Burrow coming out of his end zone, rolling to his right, and he's taken off and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. First down, Cincinnati. Burrow gets it done with his legs. Now moving about the pocket, and this time he will not escape. Miles Garrett in on the sack. That'll end the first quarter. 14-0. Bengals on top. We'll be back. Back for the second quarter of play, second and 19. They're going to give it to Mixon, Mixon left side, breaking a tackle on a juke move, and he gets to the 18-yard line, gain of almost 10, third and 10 now for Joe Burrow in the offense, throwing to Mixon, and it's a great grab. But shy of the first down marker, they would punt it away. Here's Baker Mayfield now. First and 10, wide open to Kareem Hunt. Probably could have had more yards should he stay in bounds. But second and two, they're going to give it to Nick Chubb for the first down pickup. He gets about four there. And now a second and 10 looming for the Browns after an incomplete on first down. They get it away to Kareem Hunt, and that is close to first down yardage. But it'll leave a third and one. Play fake. Nobody really bites on it, but a person is open at the 43 for the first down. Here's a second and 13, and Baker Mayfield again has time, but he's hit as he throws this one up in the air and nearly intercepted off of a tip pass. It'll leave a third and 13. Here's Baker. He's got all kinds of time, but it does eventually run out. Carl Lawson gets to him for the sack. Bengals would get it on a punt from the Browns, and there's a sack for Olivier Vernon to start the drive. It would leave a third and 20. They would just hand it off to Joe Mixon, and Mixon trying his damnedest to get to the first down marker. He will not make it, and another punt. So a few punts back and forth after the quick 14 points from the Bengals. Here's Kareem Hunt to start the drive for the Browns. He picks up six. Then they give to Chubb. Fresh legs is a thing, and he pounds a defender with a stiff arm getting all the way to the 22 of Cincy opportunity for Cleveland to cut into this lead first and 10 here's Baker he throws up the middle that is complete not a first down but pretty good yardage nine yards they give him here's second and one there's the throw left side that's complete as well and another first down for the Browns Second and goal, Baker sitting there, has some time, throws end zone, it's knocked away from Odell Beckham Jr. It'll leave a fourth and goal, and the Browns will try a 20-yard chip shot field goal. Well, 24-yard chip shot field goal, it is good. 14-3 the score, first and 10, Burrow under pressure, and he gets it away to T. Higgins, who makes an incredible grab yet again. Third and six now for the Bengals. Not a lot of time in the half. Here's Mixon up the sideline and out of bounds with five seconds to go. Do they have enough time to be able to pick up some points here? They're going to run it with Mixon, and the clock will run out at the 41-yard line. It would have been a 58-yard field goal, but time runs out on the Bengals. And we will go into the half. Bengals with a 14-3 lead on the road. This is looking much different than last year's divisional round game. We'll be back after this. And checking in on the other score, going to the AFC Championship game will be the Kansas City Chiefs as they blow out their rival Vegas Raiders. Big score there for the Kansas City Chiefs, and we will face them if we can close out as we get the second half underway. Bengals to receive up already 11 points, and Moody will get that to the 23-yard line, and that is where Joe Burrow will come out and look to orchestrate a drive that can add to this lead. First and 10, they're going to give it to Joe Mixon, and Mixon again stiff-arming. He'll get to the 29-yard line and a gain of six. Second and five at this point. Here's Mixon. He's going to do it again. Another couple of stiff arms and spin moves. 90 yards total for him so far on the day. Here goes Mixon again. Another run. Three straight for him. And he gets to the 42. Here's third and two, and Mixon again gets the call and moves the ball to the 48-yard line. Still not over midfield, but why not give it to Mixon another time? This time he does get it over midfield, but Jonah Williams injured on the play. We'll see how important that is for the Bengals. Underneath throw, and that is complete. 
to D'Angelo Bernard, but not for a first down. Jonah Williams will return soon, supposedly. We'll see if he makes it back to the game. Joe Mixon on third and two, picks up the first down, gets over the century mark for the day. And here he is again on first and 10. Another carry for him, that time seven more yards. Leave a second and three. Burrow gonna attempt to pass on this one. He throws an underneath throw to Joe Mixon who has been the focal point thus far in the second half. Here's Burrow again, and again getting that one over to D'Angelo Bernard. So it has been all Mixon and Bernard on this drive. Second and one, they're going to give it to Mixon. This has been a very long second half opening drive for the Bengals, just moving methodically down the field. Another first down there. First and goal, they're going to go jet sweep. D'Angelo Bernard gets into the end zone for the touchdown. They catch the Browns a little off dry, off Keister with a call that they don't really call all that often. And it leads to a 21-3 lead. Here's Baker Mayfield on second down. He makes the throw and that's complete to Kareem Hunt. And that will lead to a third and in inches. Brown set up to power run, but they play fake, and Baker throws it deep, and Odell is slammed. He will drop the pass, and the Browns will punt. Here goes Joe Mixon again. A flag and dirty laundry on the field. Take a look. It's going to be a hold against the Cincinnati Bengals, and that is Jonu Smith called for the hold. So that'll bring it back. First and 21. Here goes Mixon again, though. Mixon with some great running. And he's over 150 yards on the day. 116 to go third quarter, a second down for the Bengals. And here's Burrow underneath throw again. He makes that one over to T. Higgins. That'll go for a first down as well. Another second down the Bengals face. Not doing too well on first downs in this game, but second and third down, the Bengals are coming through big. There's another big catch for T. Higgins. And there's a face mask as well against the Browns defense called on Donta Hightower. That's going to move the ball up another 15 yards. And that will end the third quarter. 21-3. Bengals lead it in Cleveland. We'll be back. And now to start the fourth quarter. Here goes Joe Mixon. First and 10 from the 21. He moves it up eight more yards to the 13. Browns has been number one rushing defense, hasn't been today. Second and two, here's a throw from Burrow, a little ill-advised, and it's intercepted by Donta Hightower, perhaps new life for the Cleveland Browns as Hightower makes a big defensive play to the likes of one that the Browns really needed. Here is Baker Mayfield on second and 10. He has all day to throw, loads up right side, and that's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And Baker Mayfield has just been giving out picks all over the field, and that would be the reason why the Bengals are in the position they're in. Joe Burrow, 14 of 16. One huge blemish on his card, an interception. Here's the throw, but the interception right back for Baker Mayfield. And now the Bengals, they've forgotten about that interception. Moving right down the field, third and nine. Mixon goes nowhere that time, one of the rare occasions that he doesn't go anywhere, and that will set up a field goal try for Seibert of 51 yards. He hits, so not in the snow, and he has no problem outside of the snow for Seibert. Here's the throw from Baker Mayfield. That goes for a first down, but there's a flag on the play here. Potential hold. It is a hold against Cleveland, and Drew Forbes called for this hold, so that's going to bring the Browns backwards. 24 to 3 is the deficit, third and long, and that's complete to Jarvis Landry. First down, Browns. They have some life here, but they have to move quickly. Here's Baker Mayfield on third and four. Baker throws this one deep, tipped off of the hands of Jarvis Landry and incomplete. Fourth and four. Baker Mayfield throwing, and that is complete. That will go for a first down across midfield. First and 10, here's Mayfield from midfield. Throwing this one underneath and that is complete. First down play for the Browns, they're moving the chains. First and 10 again. Here's Baker and they're gonna go screen to Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt is brought down nearly immediately. No first down, second and nine. The fans are not liking the play calls. Coming up on the two minute warning. 
Second and nine, Baker has some time. He's hit as he throws, gets it away to Kareem Hunt, and that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. Third and six for the Browns. Time is a running out. And there's a throw. That's complete to Kareem Hunt. He's been a very big focal point in the passing game. That goes for a first down. Now play fake to Kareem Hunt. Hit as he throws, and a beautiful throw to Jarvis Landry on the right sideline. First and goal, Browns. Baker, middle of the end zone. Touchdown to Odell Beckham Jr. for the score. Browns looking to get back into this game and make it 24-10. They're going to go onside kick here. And the lefty kicker is going to go right into the arms of a Bengal. Number 33, Jordan Lewis makes that play. And it is first and 10, Cincinnati. They're going to run it with Joe Mixon. All they got to do is pick up a couple of first downs. Browns call timeout here. Third and seven, they're going to throw. And it is complete to T. Higgins. He breaks free of a tackler and gets to the 15-yard line. That is the first down Cincinnati needed. And victory formation, a much different outcome than last year where they fell here in the divisional round of the playoffs. And this time they get past their demons and they move forth to the AFC Championship game. 24-10, the win for the Bengals. And again, in the arms of Joe Mixon. The football was most of the time. He has carried this team thus far. They're going to need a little bit more Joe Burrow in order to beat the Chiefs next week, which is who they're going to face as you saw the score of that Chiefs-Raiders game before. Joe Burrow, 16 of 18, 191, a touchdown and a pick. Not a bad game for him. That one blemish was then given right back by Baker Mayfield as one of his three interceptions on the day. Not a lot of passing yards today. Joe Mixon, 185 yards and a touchdown. He definitely carried. The running game for the Browns just wasn't there. This Bengals defense has been on top of things for the first couple of games of the postseason. Looking at sacks, Olivier Vernon had one and a half. Reeder and Lawson both got in for us. And of course, the picks. J.C. Jackson, Jair Alexander, and Jesse Bates all getting picks off Baker Mayfield today. Very important. And now we move into the AFC title game thanks to the Chiefs winning 42-17 over their rival, the Raiders. That is who we will now have to go visit. Arrowhead Stadium, tough place to win. Lions get the upset over the Packers 31-28, and they will now go to Atlanta, who took care of the Arizona Cardinals 23-10. So this is going to be a very interesting championship weekend let me know your predictions do you think we win give me some scores in the comments section as well as let me know if you think the lions or the falcons are going to win the nfc title game thank you guys for watching make sure you drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content it's all we do here and if you want to see more click right here to see some more franchise Build you, some hell.